creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you every time I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What do I have going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you a DIY using these wood rulers that you can get from the 99 cent store. You don't just get one ruler for 99 cents, you get four, which is an amazing deal. And I've got a really fun DIY using these, a farmhouse DIY using these, and it is budget friendly. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and let me show you what I do with these wood rulers that you can get from the 99 cent store. And I believe you can get them at Walmart too for either 42 or 47 cents a piece if you like this DIY enough and you don't have access to the 99 cent store, you can get them there too. Let's jump into it. Alrighty, everybody, are you ready for another super quick and easy DIY where the outcome is amazing? I picked up five packs of these rulers from the 99 cent store because it's a four pack. If you don't have a 99 cent store near you, you can find these wood rulers at Walmart right now for 20 cents a piece because it's back to school. Typically, they're about 40 cents a piece. So if you get them at Walmart, you're actually getting a better buy because you're going to get five for a dollar versus four for a dollar. Anyhow, you're gonna need 19 of them. I'll also be using this liquid shoe polish that I also got from the 99 cent store in the colors of black and brown. Liquid shoe polish makes for a great inexpensive alternative to wood stain. Now for this next step, I know it's weird, but I'm using these tree trimmer, bush cutter, cutter things, whatever these things are called. Got these in the garden section. I'm gonna cut nine of my rulers in half at the six inch mark. I found that using these cutters, I got a cleaner cut. It was easier to cut through the wood versus scoring the wood. You can do it by scoring the wood. It just takes a bit more time and you end up getting a bit more breakage in the wood and splitting in the wood than you would doing it this way. So if you have these, I suggest using these. And again, I'm gonna cut nine of my rulers in half. And we gotta get rid of those rough edges, so I'm gonna just take my sand block real quick. I'm gonna smooth out these edges. This is a block that I had on hand already. If you don't have one of these on hand, Dollar Tree has a foam block. Sandpaper, I find, comes in handy because I tend to use it a lot when working with wood when I'm doing my DIYs. So even if you just have a couple sheets on hand, it's something that I would invest in and put in your craft stash. Now taking eight of the six inch rulers, using some of Aileen's Tacky Glue. This is a glue that you can get at the Dollar Tree. If you wanna use a wood glue, use a wood glue. I've just seen great results with this glue, so I like to use it. I'm gonna place some glue on the side edge of one of the six inch rulers. Then I'm just gonna place it right on top on the outside edge of one of the other six inch rulers, just like so, kind of giving us an L or a corner, I guess you could say. You're gonna do this to all eight pieces, so you end up with four total corners like this. Now for the remaining six inch ruler pieces, you should have 10 of these left. I'm gonna take and put a dab of glue on each end of these ruler pieces, and I'm just gonna set them in between two of these corner pieces, using these corner pieces as a guide as to how far apart I want these rulers to be. So I'm just gonna stick it in there nice and snug, and really there's no measuring needed because it's gonna be even because we're just using these two sides as a guide. With the remaining pieces, you should end up with two pieces that look like this. Now these are all the rulers that we cut to six inches, so you should have no more six inch pieces left. You're gonna have 10 remaining rulers that are full size rulers left out of the 19 rulers total that we needed for this DIY. I'm gonna take this black liquid shoe polish and I'm gonna give all of these rulers a good coat of this polish. Like I said before, this is a great 
inexpensive alternative to wood stain. So if you have a 99 cent store near you, I would definitely go by there if you like to do staining and wood projects because this black and the brown shoe polish that you can get there make for a beautiful rustic brown when combined together, when mixed together. And so it's something that I like to do. It dries perfectly. It doesn't rub off on anything. And really it's just, like I said, an inexpensive alternative to wood stain. I'm gonna cover the front and the back sides of the remaining 10 rulers with the black shoe polish to start off with. Using a paintbrush, I'm also gonna give these end pieces a good coat of this black shoe polish as well. I found that using the paintbrush, it was a lot easier to get into all the little nooks and crannies, the little crevices of this piece. And so I think it's just a lot easier than using the sponge that the shoe polish actually came with. Once I put the black shoe polish on these wood rulers, I actually really liked the color and the way it turned out. So I decided against adding the brown shoe polish to it and just stuck with the black shoe polish itself. Once my wood pieces are good and dry, I'm gonna put a bit of the Aileen's glue on each side of the 12 inch ruler, and I'm gonna glue these rulers in between these two end pieces. I'm gonna put five rulers on each side in between the end pieces, giving us a crate made out of wood rulers. This is what you should be left with. For the bottom of this crate, I'm just gonna use a piece of cardboard. I traced it using the crate and just cut it to size. I'm gonna place some of the Aileen's glue again on the bottom edges of all of the rulers, and I'm just gonna set this down on the cardboard. If you wanna use wood or maybe a plaque from the Dollar Tree, you can. I personally don't mind using the cardboard. I'm not gonna put anything too heavy in this. This is just a decorative piece. And so really I just wanted to make this for the rustic farmhouse look of it and to add some flowers to it. So the cardboard is gonna work fine for me. I picked up this nice size bag of Spanish moss from Walmart. I believe it was under $5. It comes with a lot more than what you would get at the Dollar Tree if you bought the individual packages. And I wanted this because it was brown. I'm gonna fill this crate with this, but just kind of a trick of the trade. So you're not using all of your moss in this crate. I like to fill whatever it is that I'm gonna fill with moss. I like to add some bags to it just as filler. So I'm using less of my moss. Once I put the bags in, I'm just gonna simply cover the bags with the moss, tuck it down in there so you don't see the bags and that way I'm not using my whole bag and really the majority of what is inside this crate is going to be the bags that I used to fill it with. And look there, I didn't even use half of my bag of moss because the majority of what this crate is filled with is those plastic bags. The flowers that I'm using for this crate are these flowers that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I picked up I think three or four bunches of them. The pink is gonna give this just the touch of color that I want for it, and I feel like these flowers have such a farmhouse country feel to them that they're gonna work perfect inside of this crate. I just gotta share with you all, my little Allie, who's eight years old, is usually sitting right there next to me when I'm doing a lot of my DIY crafting tutorials for you all, and she likes to take a lot of the scrap pieces, the extra pieces, and craft herself, and so this was something that she made up today while I was putting this crate together. I just love her and she is so stinking cute and she's probably gonna take over my channel one of these days. And would you look there, we just made a crate out of wood rulers for under $5. I love the way this turned out. I think it's such a quick and easy DIY and it's one of those where the outcome is just so rustic and farmhouse, I can hardly stand it. I tell ya, I've got so many DIYs running through my head using these wood rulers that I can't wait to bring to you. So if you all wanna see more DIYs using these wood rulers, leave me a comment in the comments below and let me know because I go off of your feedback. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, your thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day, happy crafting on a budget, and bye for now, everybody.